Tonight on KRCB Live, San Francisco singer-songwriter McLeet Hedero, known for her soulful style and effortless combination of jazz, folk, and Ethiopian music, Hedero has been named Google Artist of the Month and is founder of the Arba Minch Collective, a group of Ethiopian artists devoted to nurturing ties to their homeland through the arts. McLeet Hedero, tonight on KRCB Live. The way that people stitch themselves together happens slow, slow, oh, slow. The way that people stitch themselves together happen in slow, slow, oh slow. So give me all the clocks in your house. We can throw them, throw them. Give me all the clocks in your house. We can throw them, throw them. Take the second hand Break the magnetism Bring them all together Bury them all together Take the ticking sound Ride a counter rhythm So give me all the clocks in your house We can throw them, throw them We can watch them tumbling now In slow motion, motion And the order that we wrote down Has been broken, broken And the logic of love Underground has its moment, moment. The way that people stitch themselves together happens slow, slow, slow. Well, my roots are in Ethiopia. I was born in Addis Ababa. Um, and I left when I was about a year and a half. And we went to Germany and then uh, to D.C. and Iowa. And I really grew up all over. And and because of that, I kind of think of myself and always have thought of myself as, as being this person of multiples, you know, comfortable and um, in between cultures. I think of my music as sitting somewhat at the crossroads of about three different influences in this particular project anyway. Um, I really bring in uh, the tradition of North American songwriters. And I use North American specifically because um, some Canadian songwriters are some of my favorites, like Leonard Cohen and things like that. Um, and then uh, jazz. Um, I have been a huge, huge jazz fan for years and years um, and really find the improvisation that's at the heart of that music to be just absolutely essential um, in the sound that I make and so I play with jazz musicians as well and then I bring in some influences from Ethiopia. This next song is a song that I learned from a dear friend of mine who um, plays many traditional Ethiopian instruments um, his name is Professor Adunya Wurku, and I go visit him in Sonoma sometimes, and he plays songs for me and teaches me all sorts of things. Anyway, one day he played me this song, and I just loved it so much, and I said, well, what is it? What is the song about? And he said, well, it's a love song that could be translated as something like, I like your afro. And I said, that's the song for me. This is Kamakam.
Improvisation works is that you leave space for it, and you also give guidelines. Um, so there are places where we, the musicians and I, will say, "Okay, we we have an understanding that there's a certain amount of bars of improvisation." And then other times, I'm just letting them go, and I'll take my cues from them. Other times, they're taking their cues from me. As we've been on the road a lot 
over the past year and a half and really playing a lot over the past even six months, um, we've become even more improvisational because our communication is just very, very tight. Mm -hmm. So I can flash my eyes this way and, and the section will double. I can flash my eyes this way and it'll cut in half. And that's just so exciting because um, it makes the music different every time we play it. And of course, when you're on the road playing show after show after show, you really need to be able to stay um, true to the spirit of the songs. And I think the best way to do that is actually through um, improvisation and leaving space for that. Be be gentle, gentle with me. I feel a fragile this year. Be gentle, gentle with me. Me and the Sing a one of my who was my walls. Oh, I, I walk amongst them, in between them, child from all on top of them. them, them I, I walk amongst them, in between them, child from all top of my eye. Whoa, oh, I, whoa, oh, 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 oh. some hold both.
<laughs> Lately, our rehearsal sessions happen in sound checks <laughs> because uh, this band, which is um, Darren Johnston on the trumpet, Evan Flory Barnes on the upright bass, and Daryl Green on the drum kit. This is my touring band. So we've been touring together for the last year and a half. Um, but Darren is actually the only person who lives in San Francisco. Uh -huh. So we're together on the road, but not together in our everyday lives. So rehearsal has been um, more like, I have a new song. Let's try it out. And we'll try it in one sound check or we'll try it when we're, you know, getting ready to come to the gig and we're all driving together. Um, and then after a few days, we'll play it and play it and play it again. And it changes. Songs take songs are interesting because they take time to settle. Like there's you can write a song in one sitting or maybe it takes you a really long time to write a song. But when you bring it to a band the song has a kind of uh, lifespan and you kind of bring it to the band as it's an adolescent, right? And then it's only by playing a song that it can mature and settle into itself. And so um, that's a process that just happens on the road as you're playing show after show after show. And these guys are so wonderful. You know, I can really trust them to, uh, to take a song and know my intentions inside of it mm -hmm. and to be able to bring their own experiences and their own just rich, rich musicality to the songs. One, two, three, four. So, 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 of the sun, of his lovely, lovely melody, holy queen of sunshine, shine it down on me. I've been dreaming, dreaming of the sun, of his lovely, lovely melody, holy queen of sunshine, shine it down on me. Sole, 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 Early 2009, I founded a collective of Ethiopian diaspora artists called the Arbamich Collective, and we're primarily living in, um, well, we are living in North America and Canada, everybody of, of Ethiopian origin and, and, you know, sort of differing differing uh, backgrounds. But we're poets and photographers and filmmakers and theater artists and visual artists and musicians. And together we go to Ethiopia annually, about once every year, to connect with um, both traditional and contemporary artists in Addis Ababa as well as in the um, other regions of the country. So the idea is really to go as learners and to really immerse ourselves in what's a very rapidly evolving um, culture sphere mm -hmm. there. And it's also very different from the stories that we heard growing up. You know, my parents had stories and my aunts and uncles had stories that they would tell about the country. And at some point I realized that my own interpretations of the culture and the country 
were actually filtered through their experiences. And so I, I wanted to be able to break through into something that was real now in the present moment and also real for me as a person who could have a continual relationship with an evolving culture. Yeah, I, personally, I feel it's really important not to sort of um, staticize, you know, to make static. This is what Ethiopian culture is. It's not that. It's it's incredibly diverse, incredibly multiple, and also evolving, just as any culture does. So I thought we need to go as a group, as artists, as communicators in multiple mediums, to go to Ethiopia to be able to learn and to be able to stay current in what is happening in culture there. One, two, three. He strummed the guitar line the way he stroked my back Cause he's shy uh, sometimes uh, I ask him to dance, but he won't dance No, he don't know he is a beautiful lord He pulled back the veil and showed the color of his heart as a uh, So blue, so blue, so blue, so, so, so blue But yes, I know you're leaving Soon, well, baby, no, don't come so close. You're leaving, uh, leaving soon, baby, no, don't come so close. You're leaving soon. Take me to the roof and show me the moon.
Darren Johnston on the trumpet. <laughs> Daryl Green on the drum kit. And Evan Flory Barnes on the upright bass. Thank you so much. See more online at krcb.org slash krcb live.